Hi there, I'm Coach Amy, Precision Nutrition Certified Nutrition Coach with Results Fitness. And the recipe I have for you today is uh, no cook cottage cheese breakfast bowls made three different ways. Now, I label these as breakfast bowls, but these also make a fantastic snack as well. And these are just three of the many options that you can choose when building these types of no cook bowls. Um, again, perfect, you know, morning time, if it's hot, summer, you don't wanna cook, no cook, just plop everything together and go. So I'm actually going to make one um, for now and then I'm gonna meal prep the other two, save those for later in the week. So just to show you that you can um, you know, make these and eat them for later as well. So to get started, you're gonna need cottage cheese, obviously. Um, the brand I like to use is called Good Culture. I like this one because I was never really a cottage cheese fan, mostly because of the texture. Uh, this one's nice and thick and um, it's like a small curd, so it's just really good. It has a fantastic flavor, ton of protein as, as an added bonus. It also has probiotics added as well, so this is a good brand to use. Um, so we're gonna do three different versions. Uh, we'll start with, let's start with the strawberry almond. Yes, almond, I had to make sure which nuts that I had with me. Um, so I'm just going to use this one as a meal prep. So I have my glass containers. I, this is what I use for overnight oats as well. So this is a you know, similar concept, works just as well. And I'm gonna start by adding my cottage cheese. And these will hold up well in the refrigerator for a few days, so no need to eat them you know, right away. This will probably be my breakfast for the week. All right, so I'm just gonna add the cottage cheese to that. And again, whatever fruits you have, um, you can make these sweet, you can make them savory, so many different options. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I have my cottage cheese in there. And I have some fresh strawberries, which, but if you haven't noticed, strawberries this year are out of this world. I don't know what they put in them, but they're amazing. All right, so I'm just going to Dice a few, you know, probably about a half cup. So three or four strawberries. These are pretty big. You could slice them as well, whatever you prefer. All right. This is also good if you like blueberry lemon. I just saw a recipe for a blueberry lemon type version, which sounded amazing. Again, another great light summer breakfast or snack. Okay, so I've added about a half a cup of strawberries to that. And again, I'm just layering it similar to, you know, like if you were to do a parfait. All right, this one also has honey. Um, I have what I like to use. I This was a happy accident, I like to call it. I meant to grab regular honey and I grabbed the hot honey. And hot honey is honey that's been infused with chili peppers. So it's got a little bit of heat to it. And it is absolutely amazing on fresh fruit, especially strawberries. So I'm gonna put a drizzle of this, just about a teaspoon or so. The thing with honey, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to dump a whole ton in there. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna add some slivered almonds to the top of that. All right, so the first one's done. That is the strawberry, honey, vanilla, almond, all kinds of stuff in there. So that one's all set, quick and easy. All right, next up, we are going to make apple cinnamon. So this is a good one for, I like it in the fall, apple cinnamon everything. Whoops. So I try to block out the sun and uh, it's with construction paper. This is my, my fancy setup here. All right, cottage cheese. Now they usually have these in larger containers, but I feel like this is getting more and more popular, and sometimes this product is hard for me to find lately. So, um, you know, single serve, or they do have larger containers as well. If you're a Costco shopper, sometimes at Costco, they have, um, I believe it's like a 24 pack of these, and it's a fantastic deal. So if you come across them, you like cottage cheese, I highly recommend grabbing those from Costco. All right. So with this one, I'm just going to, you know, dice some apple real quick. Probably about a half an apple will fit in there. Just kind of dice it up small. Um, I forgot to grab my walnuts, but I usually add chopped walnuts to this one as well. All right. 
So half an apple, just, again, just layering it. I'm gonna toss that in there. I am gonna grab my walnut, so hang tight. All right, and I like to do about a tablespoon. You know, that's a, that's a good serving of healthy fats. If you're not sure, you know, some people worry, well, nuts are so high in fats, yes, but they are heart healthy fats. And when you are aiming for a serving size, you wanna aim for about the size of your thumb, which is also equal to about a tablespoon. So if you did not know that, that's the perfect serving size for nuts. All right, and just a sprinkle of cinnamon. And that one's all set as well. So here we have the apple cinnamon version. Again, real quick and easy. All right, now for my all-time favorite. This is my favorite combo. This is um, California style. So for this one, we're going to add the cottage cheese, avocado, hard-boiled egg, cherry tomatoes, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Oops, hold on. I just stuck my hand right in the cottage cheese. All right, I haven't dropped anything or caught anything on fire yet. I haven't set off my smoke alarms. So that was my, my oops for uh, this recording session. All right, so just like with the others, the base is going to be the cottage cheese. And again, this one's gonna be savory. The other two are sweet. All right. It's so hard for me not to lick spoons while I'm recording because it's just such a habit to taste as I go. All right, um, everything but the bagel seasoning, this is one of my favorites as well. If you're not familiar with it, um, if you've ever had an everything bagel, this is the seasoning that mix that goes on top. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it with about a teaspoon. And then I have fresh cherry tomatoes. I'm going to have those probably about a half cup or so. I love cherry tomatoes, so I will drown this in cherry tomatoes, but you know, you use what you like and prefer. And I don't know why, but I like to keep all my ingredients separate in the bowl when I do it this way and then mix everything right before I eat it. Again, don't know why, probably just aesthetics for all I know. All right, I'm gonna put some fresh avocado on here. Hopefully this is ripe enough. I was that weirdo in the grocery store this week squeezing all the avocados to find the right one for today. All right, and again, just like I mentioned with, um, you know, the nuts and whatnot, if you're aiming for a serving size of heart healthy fats, avocados, about a thumb. I have a hard time eating just the thumb of avocado because I will eat them like apples. <laughs> so I'm gonna go a little heavy on the avocado today and do a half a one. But then too, with avocados, it's hard because they do turn brown so fast. You kinda, you kinda have to use them up. You know, I don't wanna waste. And again, it's a heart healthy fat. So if you have a little extra avocado, not the end of the world. Okay, and I also have a hard boiled egg too that I already sliced. Um, I kind of destroyed it, I'm not gonna lie. So um, for the purpose of keeping this looking pretty, I'm gonna keep the hard boiled egg on the side for now. But as you could see, this is the California style with the avocado, cottage cheese, cherry tomatoes. And once I plan on eating this, I'm going to add the hard boiled egg. So I hope these were some quick and easy ideas for a breakfast or a snack for you. And as always, let me know what you think and have a great day.